Hi, it's Greg, and today let's see how to create an automated qualification process in a spot using chatbots. So why is it important to do so? Because normally when you have like a classic uh, lead gen process, it will be to redirect some leads to a landing page with a form, giving a lead magnet in exchange of their information and not sure of them. It's good, but it's not that personalized and uh, it doesn't hurt to have like a second point of entry for your lead generation. Using chatbot uh, in a spot is really nice because they are already linked to your portal and the way you deal with your database. It means that if you use a, a spot chatbot and to ask some question about your leads, the a spot chatbot will automatically uh, match his answers to specific properties in his a spot uh, profile page. So by using this feature, we will be able to collect data from a lead and use them to qualify him or not. So to do so, it's easy. You just need to go to conversation tab, click on chat flows, and you will arrive in your chat flow page. To create a new one, just click on create chat flow and you will have two possibilities. Either you create a chat uh, bot for your website that you will embed in every pages, or you will create a chat flow for uh, your meta apps. So Facebook Messenger, for instance. In this example, just let's try to create a simple website one. Once you do that, a spot will propose you a lot of different like pre-built chat flows. I let you read every single one of them, but basically the edit the uh, the chatbot editor in a spot is not really user friendly. So if your goal differ at least a tiny bit from those definitions, I will recommend you to start from scratch. So is what we will do today. So you will have a good understanding and a good overview on how to deal with chatbots in HubSpot. So let's do that. We click on next. You choose your inbox and your language and you click on create. So now we are in the um, default uh, chatbot editing page. So you have two windows. The first window is a welcome message. So basically it will be the, um, the message that will pop up in the right bottom of your window to say hey please use me so it will make your visitors click on your chatbot the second message is a, basically the first message that your chatbot will send to your uh, visitors one thing we need to know about ch a spot chatbot is the next action of the flow will be triggered only when there is an input from your visitor so basically if you want your lead to uh, Let's say we, we create a new message. If you want your lead to see this message, so basically it could be a question or like a different options uh, for him to choose to get redirected to this specific content or not, they will need to type something after receiving this message. So my best practice would be to directly ask your question in the first message. So basically, Let's say that in our chatbot, we want him to be able to do two, three things. First, to link this visitor to a uh, active sales person in the chat, so to talk to a real person, or to book a meeting through a, a spot meeting link, or to check if they are eligible. So we just need to redefine this first message and add quick replies. So we said, talk to someone, book a meeting and check my eligibility, let's say. So if we do so and we disable open responses, it means that they will need to click on one of these three options. So we can really choose where the visitor is going with the chatbot. We save and we see that is coming here. So basically it's just a matter of mapping every single of this answer to a new specific actions. To do so, just click <coughs> on the window, go down and click on this button, go to action based on response. You click and you will see that you will be able to uh, map every single option with the action you want. So talk to someone, we want to map it to go to new action, to uh, a real team member. So it's under conversation, you click here. You will name it as you want, it's internal name anyway. You can assign it to whoever you want. So in this example, you will map it to 
a specific sales. And you can modifi modify all the different text to make it more personalized or more aligned with your, uh, your company. We save and we map the first option. Now let's map book a meeting. So same thing, we click on continue to next action, we go to a new action, and this time we will go to sales, book a meeting. We name it internally. You select the good meeting link. You can change this message if you want and you save. And the last thing we want to do is to uh, create this uh, qualification process within the chatbot. So basically it will be just a sequence of different questions and the chatbot will check every time this answer is qualified, this answer is not qualified and it will give the result to the visitor. So to do so, we need to start asking our question. Because it's on a spot, the first question we need to do, so we click on ask question, is to ask for the email address because email address in a spot is a unique identifier for all your leads. So at the moment we will ask the email address of a lead, it will create a profile page in your Aspot portal and then Aspot will be able to collect all data one by one. So we just click on email. You can modify the text as always. You don't need to add quick replies because it's email address so it's single line text. And you save. So now that we map all the three options, we can see that if we click on talk to someone, you will connect it with me, book a meeting, it will propose a link to book a meeting of this schedule. And if we click on check my eligibility, you will ask what is a good email address to contact you with. So basically these two paths are down. Now let's continue this one. So once we ask email, we need to ask the different properties that will define the qualification of a lead. So Let's say for a quick example that for me, a qualified lead should be a CEO from France and with a 1 million plus, um, at least 1 million revenue, annual revenue. So to do so, we just need to choose those questions. So we click on new action, we choose ask a question. A spot we propose frequently used question. So you check if one of the questions you want are already here. So here, job title, I want to qualify my lead based on his job title because only CEO are qualified, so I can click on it. You can modify the title as always, and either you let uh, the lead type whatever he wants, or you can add quick replies, which are like small buttons, like the first step. I will really recommend you to pre-fill these quick replies so you keep a clean database and for the qualification process to make a spot understand the answer, it will be way more easier. So in this example, let's make something really easy. So we want to propose CEO, manager, intern, and other. Of course, make it like better for your real uh, chatbot. And we want to save this spot property to job title. We click on save and we have our next question. But now we need to map the result of each button uh, of this question. So we click back on this window and this time we go to if them branch. So here visitor response is any of save values. We want to first map the non-qualified answers. So in our case is every answer that is not any of CEO. So basically manager, intern and other. If we click on other things than CEO, we click here and we will add a new action. The new action will be a simple message saying, sorry, you are not qualified. So we name it, sorry, and oula, sorry, you are not qualified. That way, if people don't answer a qualified answer, they will know that they are not qualified. So is what we want. And now we need to map for people that are qualified and click on CEO. So if we click on CEO, we want to ask the next question to know if they are still qualified. Go back to if then branch, add a if then branch. And this time visitor's response is any of, and you choose CEO. Then for the next action, you click on search, go to a new action and you ask a new question. In our case, we want to ask the country of a lead. So 
we see that is not in the frequently used uh, properties, so we click on collect over property. We name it country internally, and we ask where are you from. Then we want this um, this property to be mapped to the country region field in a spot. So we click here in the uh, in the bottom line, and we choose our property we want to map it with. And then we can add quick replies to force them to have a clean database. So let's say France, UK, Italy, Spain, over, let's say. And we click on save. We click on save here and again. So here now we have two different outcome of this question. Is not a CEO, so sorry you're not qualified, or is a CEO and where are you from? Now we need to do the exact same thing that uh, than in the first question and map sorry message for UK, Italy, Spain over and as the next question for France. So let's do it quickly. We go to event branch, add event branch. Visitor's response is not any of France. And here, next action, if all conditions are true, instead of creating a new sorry message, you can use the first one because it's not like workflows and it's chronological uh, logic, it's just action-based logic. So basically, uh, action can be used and used and used again and again. It doesn't matter. So you can just click on sorry, save. And they will receive the same message as for the job title, sorry, you are not qualified. Then we need to map the answer if they are qualified. So visitor response is any of friends. And this time we need to ask a new question. You got it. Is you do that for all the questions you want. So I will do it quickly for the annual revenue one. And let's see what we need to do after that. So I do it quickly. Ask a new question. I want to ask about revenue. What is your annual revenue? I map it with the annual revenue property. And I will add, I don't know, Okay, and we add this thing. Same here. We save, we save, we save, and we map the different outcome. So is not any of, we said 1 million and more, right? So up, we put it as sorry. And for the rest, We want to tell them they are qualified. So basically, what we can do is go to new action and set a contact property value here. And if you have like a properties uh, organizing your qualified lead and not, you can use it. So I have it. I create a qualified property. It is yes or no. And I can set the property of the lead here. Yes. So by doing so, if people arrive to this question and answer more than 1 million, we know that is qualified for all these different steps. So we say to a spot, this lead is qualified. Now you need to tell the lead is qualified and you might want to redirect them to a more, um, a deeper uh, action in your buyer journey. So for instance, once he's qualified, you want to make him book a meeting with your sales team. So to do so, you just click here on plus and ask a last question. You want to ask a, la uh, a custom question because we don't want to add a new property. We want just like to make him interact with different options. So we can call it Bravo. So Bravo, you are qualified. You can add a new message to make it like more natural. Like there is like one line, second line. Do you? want to book a meeting and here like the same the first example we do not save it to any property and we click we type yes no we save and then we map it so if you say no we can just send him a simple message saying okay bye and if you say yes, 
we can do the same thing as the beginning go to sales and click on book a meeting we select another meeting link for instance and we change the successful booking message click on save so now we finish our qualification process within a chatbot so if we click on preview we can like test the different options so if i click on talk to someone they will map me with me but i'm not online now so they will say sorry if we click on book a meeting a spot will propose us a meeting link we click and we can choose the day the time etc etc we restart and now if we want to check our eligibility which is like the main goal of this chatbot we click here we type our email address i'm a ceo so i'm qualified i'm from france so i'm qualified and i get 10 million annual revenue so i'm qualified so bravo, you are qualified. Do you want to book a meeting? Yes, I want. And it will open me a new meeting page. So basically, that's the basic basics of what you can do to qualify your leads. Of course, um, this chatbot feature is supposed to propose a really nice conversational uh, experience for your visitors. So make sure like you elaborate your messages to make it a bit more personified for personalized for your personas and to give them the best experience possible i hope it was clear if you want to go deeper on your um spot automations and uh database management i create a free web page on the description below that will make you access to all the different workflows i present on this channel so for each workflow you will find um, a detailed blog post that gives you a lot of context on uh, the different workflows, a video tutorial like the one you're, uh, you're watching now, and a step-by-step -step action uh, plan uh, in the form of a to-do list that will help you uh, doing all the different steps to put these workflows in your portal without any issues. So I hope it was clear enough. I say I wish you a great day and see you next week.